with what is this vaccine it is a primary preventive measure against three childhood diseases namely measles mumps and rubella it is a combined vaccine and it helps in providing protection against these three diseases simultaneously or at the same point of time let's look at the vaccine specifications this vaccine is a live attenuated one which contains strains of the measles mumps and rubella virus which are prepared by growing the virus in either cell cultures or embryonated chicken eggs. The availability of this vaccine is in the form of a lyophilized or a powder form and it comes in multi-dose vials. Along with each vial there is a diluent which is a sterile diluent which is supplied along with it. Let's look at the route of administration and dosage. The MMR vaccine is administered by the subcutaneous route as we can see it is into the fatty tissue just below the layers of the skin. So the angle to which the syringe is held to the skin is a 45 degree angle and the preferred site for administration is the anterolateral aspect of the thigh. However, some manufacturers also recommend that the vaccine can be administered at the outer aspect of the upper arm. The dose in which the vaccine is given is 0.5 ml and it is administered in two doses. The first dose given at the age of 12 months the World Health Organization recommends um, the time between 12 to 15 months for administering the first dose and the second dose should be just before entry to school and the age group would be roughly around 4 to 5 years. Let's look at what precautions we need to take when we are looking at the MMR vaccine. Reconstitution of the vaccine is very, very important when we look at the vaccine safety. As I said earlier, a sterile diluent is provided along with each vial of MMR vaccine. So this diluent has to be put into the vaccine vial for reconstitution into solution and this has to be administered to the child. Now what is important is it's a multi-dose vial. So one vial is going to be used for more than one um, child. So it's important to follow aseptic precautions when we are handling this particular vaccine. Most important thing is this vaccine should not be administered to immunocompromised people, pregnant women, and also people allergic to the vaccine. Lastly, we talk about the side effects. The common side effects are at the site of injection. So mostly it's swelling, redness, and a lump, which resolves on its own. But what is more important to realize is side effects can also result from individual components of the vaccine, which mimic the symptoms of the actual illness. But these side effects are rare. So these is in a nutshell information about the MMR vaccine. Thank you very much for watching. Do keep watching and subscribe. Have